Hi, my name is Sanjay Prasad, and for my experiment, I chose to investigate the effects of Moringa oleifera and Anona muricate on the regeneration period of Dugassia tigrina. First, we have to know what Dugassia tigrina is. Dugassia tigrina is otherwise known as brown planaria. Brown planaria is a flatworm that lives in fresh water and is known for its ability to regenerate. Both Moringa oleifera and Anona muricate are known to have, positive in, have a positive impact on your health. In the Caribbean, Moringa is more commonly known as simply Moringa, and Anona muricate is known as Graviola and Soursop. My hypothesis was that if Moringa oleifera and Anona muricate were supplemented into the living environment of Dugassia tigrina, then the planaria in the petri dishes with both plants' powders added together would regenerate fastest because of its several health, because of these plants' several health benefits that are present when one eats these plants. Eating these plants separately are very beneficial to your health, so it would make sense that the consumption of both plants together is even better for you. As I stated before, planaria was used as a model organism for this experiment, and two plants were investigated, Moringa oleifera, otherwise known as Moringa, and Anona muricate, which is also known as Graviola or Soursop. During the course of my experiment, there were four groups, Moringa stimulation, Soursop stimulation, combined stimulation of both plants, and a control group. Solutions of three liters of Poland spring water were created using two plants for a final concentration of 0 0.001 of, of a gram per liter. To elaborate on that, my first solution had 0 0.001 of a gram of Moringa powder per liter of water, my second solution had 0 0.001 gram of soursop powder per liter of water, and my third solution had 0 0.001 gram of both powders combined per liter of water. The solution was used as new water every time the planaria petri dishes were washed and changed. Originally, I had three planaria per petri dish, resulting in six planaria per group. But then I took the planaria and cut them in half horizontally using a sterile razor. Before I did this, I placed the planaria on an ice cube to numb them and restrain their movement. After the planaria were cut horizontally in half, I had six planaria left to regenerate in each petri dish, resulting in 12 planaria per group. Pieces of hard boiled egg yolk were put in the petri dish for 30 minutes as food for the planaria approximately once or twice a week. After the experiment ended, the data was closely observed. According to the collect collected data, there was an observable trend. The planaria exposed to both plants together regenerated the fastest. A planarian would be considered fully regenerated in the process when it, has when it has a clearly visible tail and a dark head with two visible eyes. The fastest group to regenerate compared to the control group was the group with the combined stimulation of both plants whereas the slowest group to regenerate compared to the control group was the group with soursop stimulation. As you can see in figure one, soursop stimulation was the slowest to regenerate, taking between 20 and 25 days to regenerate, while the, while the combined stimulation of both plants took between 15 and 20 days to regenerate. Figure two shows the average regeneration period for each group by petri dish. Although the chi-square test showed that the p-value was greater than 0 0.05, a trend was observed that, planaria ex that the planaria exposed to both plants at once regenerated the fastest, suggesting further investigations are needed to make a definitive conclusion. Having a larger sample size may lead to, a more, conclu may lead to more conclusive results. An explanation for the slow regeneration of the planaria due to soursop is that when the consumption of soursop is daily, when soursop is daily and implemented into one's daily routine, signs of Parkinson's disease become present. Though it has extreme health benefits in low quantities, it can cause nerve damage and kidney problems when taken on a daily basis. The main limitations for my experiment were the duration of the experiment and the sample size. If I continue this experiment in the future, I would increase the amount of time I take to perform the experiment and observe the regeneration period.
I also would increase the concentration of Moringa and Soursop. Last, I would use a larger sample size of Planaria. Thank you for listening to me.